Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my favorite five trash to treasure thrift or thrift store flip home decor DIYs. I hope you enjoy them. I had picked up these two candelabras and the funny thing is one was priced at $3.99 and one was $1.99. They're exactly the same so I ended up getting both of them for $1.99. I will also going to be using some chalk paint. I am using graphite by Annie Sloan and also some um, nautical rope and hot glue. I love using Annie Sloan paint for painting my furniture. So this is the stuff that I have on hand and I will be using this paintbrush that had come from Dollar Tree, Dollarama. So first thing that I'm going to be doing is painting half of the, those candelabras, um, well more, more like three quarters of them with the uh, graphite paint. This uh, candelabras did need two coats, so I finished one, and then once the one was dried, I applied the next one. And once that was all done, I just cleaned off any unnecessary ones that maybe leaked down the paint, and then I proceeded in gluing the uh, rope right around the bottom of the candelabra. I think this gives it a farmer's look, farmhouse look, but also that uh, rustic coastal look as well uh, that I've been um, kind of creating here and there uh, over on my channel just to add to my summer decor. For the next candelabra I actually started the rope on the top and that seemed to have been a bit easier uh, to, to do than going up the candelabra. I absolutely love the way this turned out once I was finished with both of them. So uh, I went thrifting and I had found some uh, something that I've been looking for a while uh, and uh, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, I don't know what I did with the bag. Oh, there it is. So let me show you what I got. So I had picked up two of these they're different sizes one's a little smaller um, and these were this one was three dollars and I absolutely love the little detailing on it I'm not too crazy about the color but that has never stopped me before and then so let me show you my other one so there you go so I'm going to show you the size difference in them as you can see there are two would have been great if there were three but uh, I will take the two and the smaller one was two dollars so five dollars for these two candelabras I thought that was a pretty good deal 
but I'm not crazy about the color like I said so I will be using the Annie Sloan cocoa paint and I love this color um, it's um, my brand new color I haven't um, purchased this one I love it from the way it looks on the paper and on some of the other items that I've seen in the store that are painted so I will be working on another project with this paint but I thought this paint would look really amazing on those candelabras and I will also be using brown wax to, or dark wax to go with that paint and of course clear wax to finish it all for long lasting protection and then I have some paints I'm not sure uh, I mean paint brushes I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these uh, the uh, sponge brushes or I'm gonna use my Bristol brushes I'm, I haven't decided and then I just have some reusable wipes from Dollar Tree that I buy there it's a pour, four pack and they are lint free which I absolutely love for using wax and working on these type of projects so without further ado let's get started so I have used decided to use the Bristol brush for this and I'm going to take my price tags off and these are fairly clean I don't know here's the dark wax that I was talking about so I'm going to get started on painting them give this a shake So here is the paint. I think it's very pretty. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to do two coats or one. I will see once I um, painted the first coat how, what I, how I like it. applied two coats and now I'm going to put some of this dark wax on it and I'm using this brush to put it on I'm using these reusable wipes to wipe it off
So here is the difference. I really like the way the dark wax accented the piece. I'm going to repeat the same process for this one. So here they are. I think they turned out so nice. Um, just gave it a, a bit of a more um, updated look, I think. And um, the, the dark wax definitely accented some areas, which is what I was looking for. For my trash to treasure, it is a rocking chair and I picked it up on Kijiji for $20 and I want to give it a new life so it matches my decor on my front porch. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. Here are some of the materials that we'll be using. I will be using the Rust-Oleum Chalk uh, Ultra Matte Paint in Charcoal. This is a new paint for me. I usually always use... Um, any Sloan chalk paint so I will let you know what I think of this paint comparing to any Sloan paint. I'll need a little sanding block I love these these are just from Home Depot lint free rag a paintbrush I use the Legacy 100% 100% white bristle not sure what that means and I can't remember where I got this whether it was at Home Depot or yeah, I can't remember. And I'm also going to be using the Annie Sloan, Annie Sloan Soft Wax in Clear. So first I'm going to remove these and give a chair a good cleaning. And I'm just using water and vinegar spray. I'm going to sand it down uh, anywhere just in case if there's stuff stuck to it. Okay, now the chair is ready for a coat of paint. For the bottom, I'm just going to wet my uh, paintbrush well and um, apply uh, apply the, the paint that way. So I had finished the first coat, now I'm going to let it dry for about half an hour and apply the second coat. So I am ready for the second coat.
So the second coat has been applied. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm going to distress it a little bit and wax. Now I'm going to distress certain areas. So I didn't want to go too, too much. Um, just certain areas where you would, the paint would uh, rub off with wear and tear type of thing. And now I'm going to apply wax with a brush and then once, um, and take it off with a lint-free rag and then uh, I'm gonna give it 24 hours and I'm gonna buff it out. So here it is, all finished. I think it turned out really, really nice. My husband says it's not a keeper. I say it is definitely a keeper. We'll see who wins. I need to buy new pots. But just so you can see the detailing. I roughed it up in certain areas and I think it just turned out absolutely gorgeous. Today I'm bringing you a thrift store flip. I had picked up this um, shelf at a local thrift store for $3. I thought that was a great deal. I did not love the hearts on the little door, uh, doors that were there, but I have a solution for that using these craft squares from Dollarama. I will also going to be using some of this, it looks like chicken wire, but it's, it's more plastic than actual metal. And then I am going to use uh, any Sloan original white paint and the chicken wire came from Dollarama as well as these uh, napkins that I'm going to be using. They had come from Dollarama. And then you're gonna need some Mod Podge. So the very first thing that I'm going to be doing is trying to figure out how to uh, cover up the, the, these hearts. Um, so I thought if I cut this piece of uh, craft square that's like, um, what is it, a press board or something like that, a chipboard, that's it. Uh, I can just glue that over top of it because I will be uh, doing something else to it as well. So I thought that that would mask it up pretty good and close up that heart. So um, I measured out the squares and um, cut them to size. I am just using <laughs> my wire cutters and my crafting knife. I do, and my exacto knife. I do need to get myself some proper cutting tools one of these days but it's like one of those things that it's always on my list but it gets shoved to the back because there's so many other things that I need to purchase but one day I will get one so I measured out the size now I also wanted to round up the ends too because the one end is round the corner so then I ended up uh, cutting them and then rounding them up as well a little bit and just giving the edges a little bit of sanding just to smooth it out I just realized that one of my lights went out right at that moment and um, the light bulb just went out so that's why you saw the difference in the light so now I am just measuring up the top side to cut down, which um, I struggled with a little bit, just getting the right fit in to fit it in, which you will see once I glue them on, um, I had to go in and cut a little bit more. I am using some hot glue. You can also use wood glue to glue this on. I am just using hot glue right now to do so. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Sonia and over on this channel you will find videos like this as well as dollar store DIYs and some furniture flips. So I would love it if you considered subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. 
and don't forget to press that notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. I upload three times a week currently, so and then there, there's tons of new fall DIYs coming your way. So if you love fall, even more of a reason for you to press that subscribe button. And I just finished my Christmas in July playlist, which I will link in the description box as well as in the corner if you want to check out some of those DIYs. So as you saw, I trimmed off the edge and this one actually fit perfectly. Now once that was all set in place, I moved on to painting the piece and I covered the whole piece with the Annie Sloan White. Now I wasn't going for like amazing full coverage. I wanted that shabby chic look so I am... Um, not putting a lot of paint on my paintbrush and just letting some of that wood show through. Once this piece was fully painted and fully dry, I moved on to Mod Podging this napkin on. I love this design and when I was shopping for it, I actually um, didn't pick it up and then I went back and picked it up and I'm so glad I did because I used it for this project and an upcoming project that's going to be out on Sunday. So I used one napkin for this one and I'm just going to cut out two of these roses, to, uh, no, the, they're peonies, to um, glue to the door. And you want to be um, separating the napkin completely, taking, there's I think three layers there. Uh, and I played around with it before I actually uh, Mod Podged it on just to make sure that it is exactly the way I want it. And then I proceeded using Mod Podge to glue it on. Once it was on there, I used my craft knife just to trim off the edges. I think this was easier than trying to cut the a flower to the size to fit in. This way it looks like it, can't, it was always there kind of look that there was not a obvious cut line or some missing. It went right to the edge and I kind of like that better than, like I said, cutting it out to fit uh, onto the square. And then I repeated the same thing for the other door and then I Mod Podge on the bottom and then as well as on the top.
To finish the project off, I had glued the chicken wire to the back of it. I think this gave it um, a more of a rustic look uh, than just having it plain. You could totally leave it plain at the back, but I love the way uh, the look that this um, created. I am also going to be removing the little hooks at the back because I will, I'm not planning on hanging up this shelf, but if you want to hang up the shelf, I would remove these, glue my chicken wire on, and then reattach these back on just so they're over top of the chicken wire. I'm not sure, even sure whether that's called chicken wire. I think it's, a gar it's supposed to be part of a garden fence, but to me it looks like chicken wire, so I am calling it a chicken wire. absolutely love the way this piece turned out what do you guys think let me know down in the comments i think this would look really cute with some thrifted trinkets on it or some of your maybe skincare or i don't know about makeup but even makeup would look good so i had picked up this is not necessarily ugly it is quite damaged but i had picked up um one of these at um, I think it was a uh, yeah it was value village it was three dollars and um, it does need some sort of uh, help <laughs> or makeover or a new life or or something like that I have several of these in my house that I use for uh, uh, different things but I thought this one uh, would be good to maybe as a side table or um, I sometimes edit my videos in my family room and it would be nice to be able to have like a little higher table to set my computer on while I sit on a couch 
um, so maybe I'll use it for that but I have come up with idea how I want to paint it and uh, obviously first I'm going to have to give it a little bit of sanding um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually take a power sander or if I'm just gonna try a hand, do it by hand we'll see how it goes and make my decision based on that but then I'm going to use some chalk paint because it is what I do I love chalk painting and I have this duck egg blue and I've had this paint forever and it is a bit thick so I'm going to be adding water to it to thin it out that's the beauty of chalk paint you can just uh, give it new life with just adding some water and then um, for sure I'm gonna go over with black wax and then the top um, the, so that's for the legs and then for the top I'm going to do the linen white uh, from Rust-Oleum and I might use my country gray to do maybe a little pattern or something on top but we'll see we will see so without further ado I'm going to get started but before I actually do I just want to mention that this is a challenge so there will be a playlist and uh, there's gonna be ton of ugly duckling DIY makeovers type of things in that playlist so make sure you go check it out for tons of inspiration all right so let's get started then so I had collapsed the piece just so it's a little bit easier to work and then I have this which is a uh, 80 I think grape paper and so I'm gonna try and use this and then I have several other ones that I had picked up at Dollar Tree Now when you use chalk paint, as I mentioned in my other projects, you don't, there's not a ton of prep work done, but if your piece has stuck on stuff or sticky stuff or tape or grease or anything like that, the paint will not stick. So there is a little bit of prep work required. Um, sometimes it's just as much as just washing the piece down or sometimes it's just uh, giving it a light sanding to get the stuff off. You don't have to strip it completely if you're just going for the chalked painted look. that's good I'm just gonna give it a little wipe I just have some water here I'm just gonna wet it a little bit just to give it a little wipe okay now I'm going to shake my paint and I'm going to paint my top first And I'm using my cottage paint paintbrush from Benjamin Moore. It's a chalk paintbrush. So the first coat is on. Now I'm going to move on to the legs uh, and let the first coat dry. So I'm going to add some water. give it some shake and a stir I think it's a good consistency and I'm using a different brush just so I don't have to wash the other ones since I'm gonna be painting the top soon enough Let me just show you the color and now I'm going to continue painting the rest of it and I'll come back and show you what it looks like so the legs are all painted and I'm just going to keep it at that one coat uh, I'm going to be applying black wax so it doesn't need another coat of the duck egg blue 
but the top uh, will definitely need a second coat and that's what I'm gonna do now and I'll show you once it's all done before I do the black wax so now that the paint has dry I'm going to apply some dark wax onto the legs only and the way I do it I cover the whole area and I'm going to take my lint-free rag and take some of it off so let me just show you up close the difference between one with wax and one without I really like the color that it makes it with the, the uh, black wax so I'm gonna wax the rest of the legs so I am done with the legs and now I'm going to move on to the top part I'm gonna do a little pattern so for this I'm gonna use my Chateau Grey and I also have two different size of paint uh, tape and I'm going to make like a little pattern with it Saturating my paintbrush heavily because I don't want it to make a huge mess. And don't forget to paint the edges too. the best part the reveal and you want to remove the paint after you're done um, painting so that way it doesn't dry and rip the edges I'm going to let this dry and then show you how it looks in my decor so here it is all finished up and decorated I just have it on the corner of my couch in the living room I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it here but for now that's where it is and I love the way it turned out it looks so farmhousey almost like a French country farmhouse style and I love it. Stopping by my channel for the very first time, I would love for you to press that subscribe button. Uh, stick around uh, and see what this channel has to offer. I do all sorts of uh, DIY projects. I do furniture makeovers, dollar store DIYs, um, trash to treasure videos uh, often, home decor videos often, so I'm sure there's something for you to enjoy. And make sure your notification bell is on, so that way you don't miss out any of the new videos that are coming up. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.